Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Eli, and today we're gonna to be talking about credit cards. We're gonna be talking about some of the biggest misconceptions about credit cards. We're gonna be talking about how credit cards work. And lastly, we're gonna be talking about how you can use your credit card the correct way to help build up your credit and make sure you don't ever have to pay any interest. So, let's get into it. first thing I want to talk about is the misconceptions with credit cards, right? Um, there's a lot of things going around. One of the things that people think about credit cards is they think free money, right? You get a credit card, your credit limit is a thousand bucks, hey, it's time to go shopping. If you have that mentality, you are going to get in a lot of debt really fast. The second misconception about credit cards is that they're bad. And this has come around by people misusing their credit cards and getting themselves into a lot of debt. Credit cards in themselves are not bad. They're actually a very useful tool to help you to build credit, but you have to be smart with your credit card. You have to be disciplined and not see it as an extra paycheck. And the third misconception about credit cards, and this was advice that uh, wasn't given to me, but given to somebody that I know, and they gave the advice that you need to max your credit card every month because when you max your credit card that lets the card lender know that okay this person needs more money to spend because they're already spending their credit limit don't ever do that don't ever do that when i heard this i was dumbfounded that somebody actually gave that advice that was terrible advice don't ever do that the most important thing with credit cards is pay it off pay off your statement balance every time in full and you never have to pay interest all right, now let's get into how credit cards work exactly, right? Because it's a piece of plastic. A few moments later. Now let's talk about how credit cards actually work, right? There's these pieces of plastic, some card lender uh, gives out, mostly either Visa or Chase are the two big ones. Um, so right, they, when you sign up for a credit card, you're signing up for basically short-term loans, right? To say, okay, yep, we're gonna lend you $1,000 or $5,000, whatever your credit limit is, that they're expecting you to pay back. So the way credit cards work, right, every has a billing cycle. So maybe it's from the 15th of the month to the next 15th of the month. So however much you spend during that time, um, then there'll be a statement closing date. And at that statement closing date, whatever your balance is, you have one month to pay off that balance. So let's say your example, the example is uh, on the 15th, let's keep using that, the 15th of every month is your your statement closing dates. So your, that's your billing cycle. So from the 15th of January, let's say, to the 15th of February, all that time you're using your credit card to buy whatever. On the 15th, there's a closing date, right? Then you'll have one month, there'll be a, another date called the payment due date, right? Typically it falls a few days or just before the statement closing date. And if your billing cycles from January 15th till February 15th, then March 15th is when your next statement closes, but uh, you know three or five days before that, let's say March 13th, that is your billing due date. So all the purchases, whatever amount that you had left on February 15th, you're going to have to pay that on March 13th. You know, that's an example. Every credit card uh, has their own billing cycle and their uh, those dates. So they're very specific to your own card. Now we're going to be talking about how you can use your credit cards to the proper way and to maximize your credit score and make sure you never have to pay any interest. The number one thing you have to do, if you remember anything from this, pay off your credit card, your statement balance, every time in full. Pay off your credit card, your statement balance, every time in full. Every time in full. Every time in full. Every time in full. If you do that, you, you, you can't go wrong with credit cards, right? Pay off your statement balance in full every time. That, that's what you have, you have to do that. Everything else is, you know, it's the details. If you do that, that's the, that's the main thing with credit cards. You will not get into credit card trouble if you pay it off every month. 
All right, well, if you take anything away from this video, it is pay your credit card off every month in full. If you like this kind of video, if you found this information useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And um, so I can make, if, I, if you like it, then I can know to keep making these types of videos. And um, yeah, I hope this helps. Hope this clears up some misconceptions about credit cards. And uh, if you have any other questions, write them down below and I will try and answer those. Thanks a lot.